Good evening and welcome to another edition of Football Corner where we give you the best of fixtures, prediction and highlights and much more of updates. What, uh, whatever going on around the football corner, we make sure that we bring it light here so that you can get the full package of prediction, highlights, and as well as updates on football corner. And today we have a special guest whose name is Mr. Kachasa. Welcome to the program. Thank you very much, uh, William. It's nice to be here. Yeah, and in today's show, we'll be giving you the best of fixtures, especially the result that was happening during the week, and as well on the weekend, we'll go on and give you the next fixtures of the game that will be played in Premier League, La Liga, as well as Serie A. But before we do that, ladies and, gen ladies and gentlemen, my name is PC Williams, and this is Football Corner. The results of Premier League were so fantastic to the fact that some of you, you were wondering what is happening to your team. But for Liverpool fans and Manchester City, hey, there are a lot of things that is happening there. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's an interesting uh, title race. Mm -hmm. uh, it's more even interesting for the neutrals, but if you're a Liverpool fan or a Man City fan, uh, I'm sure... You, your heart keeps uh, <laughs> being fast. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's an interesting thing. But, but even Manchester City now, because after the draw against West Ham, do you think the, the, there is a change of wind that Liverpool will catch up at the end of the league? Well, I think it's, a, it's more of a wait and see moment. It's Man City we are talking about. Uh, normally when they, when they lose a game, they, they react by, by beating the next opponents. Uh, so, so it's, it's, how the, it's how the game is at the moment. They looked navy. Mm -hmm. They were down 2-0 at, uh, at, uh, at half time. But in the second half, they, they showed they that they are the up. champions and, 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 and the Korea is in the but game. But we are remaining with one game. Yeah, and Liverpool what, is going to play against Southampton on Tuesday. And that's a plus for them. If they win that game and maybe in the last game, uh, they, they will do something. Again. Yeah, Liverpool, this will be their uh, 60 one maybe 62 match 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 in the season mm -hmm. who do they even play salah is looked off mm -hmm. in the uh, in the fa cup final van dyke was substituted money looks star Diaz looks star the, don't the you think league. that was a strategy for them because they have uefa champions league coming up uh, against leo madrid yeah i think in their plan they were thinking man city will beat west ham mm -hmm. and eventually win the last game against aston villa mm -hmm. but now man city has joined against west ham mm -hmm. it's given them the chance again to win to the league pick it up. so if you're club right now what do you do do you play the third guys or do you, do you rest <laughs> them i think in his mind it was like okay the premier league is done mm -hmm. let me rest players for the for the champions league final but man city Drew yesterday. But, but so far, Liverpool have clinched two titles and they are waiting for another two titles. Yeah, Do you yeah. think they can manage to get a quadruple? It's within reach for them to be immortals, uh, something that has never been done before yeah. in football, winning four trophies in, in one season. One season. They've won two, two to go. Mm -hmm. They are favourites for the Champions League, but I think Man City are still favourites for the Premier League. But it would be a nice story if Steven Gerrard was, was beat Man City or draw them. And, and that's the favor everybody is asking <laughs> that. <laughs> but at, uh, Steven Gerrard being a, a Liverpool regent, that maybe he will try by all means to help his former club. Do you think that's the way it's going to be? Or? Well, I think it's a, it's a profession, so you go into the game planning to win it for his team, mm -hmm. Aston Villa. He's at Aston Villa now, but what a script. Uh, a, a Liverpool regent who never won the league, ending Liverpool the league at the end of the day. To be an interesting, interesting. Yeah, all right. If you are watching football corner, or if you, or you just join us now, we are still talking about the result that happened during the week. And on in the in the week, uh, Liverpool played against Aston Villa and they won two one. As well as Man City played against Wolves on Wednesday and they won five one. Chelsea played against Leeds and they won three new as well as Everton continue fighting not to be relegated. They also drew against Watford, who has been relegated already. And Leicester City continue dominating, and they armored the already relegated team, which is Norwich City. And, three, and all, all these games were played during the week on, on Wednesday as well. And on Thursday, Tottenham, they are not giving up top four. They armored Arsenal 3-0. But we, we are going to look about this week's games, the, 
Were we expecting Tottenham to draw after Amali and Arsenal won you? After Amali and Arsenal 3 0? 3 0 rather. Mm. Yeah. Tottenham have been up and down. Mm -hmm. Inconsistency has been the, uh, the, the season so far. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, uh, it, was a, it was a tough game against uh, Ben, the one they played. Yeah. But eventually they managed to win it uh, through a, a hurricane penalty. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, it's good for them. It's good for their momentum. Arsenal still have to play Newcastle and Everton. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Spurs are just remaining with one game, and at the moment they're above Arsenal. If Arsenal wins the, all their games, they qualify to the Champions League. Uh, but it's, uh, it's, but do you be think again, uh, uh, with the remaining games, Tottenham will sweep out in the last game? If, if we assume that Arsenal maybe failed to win one game? I think it's all, it's all to us, and I think Spurs mm -hmm. will win their last game. And I think if, if Arsenal wants to play the champion... And now, since they're already in top four, and, uh, according to the log, to they the log, have yeah, the chance yeah. of qualifying in the Premier League. A very big or chance. in the Champions League. It's like. up to Arsenal. If Arsenal wants to play the Champions mm. League next season, they have to beat Newcastle and Everton. And it's, uh, it's not much to ask from an Arsenal team mm. anyway to beat Newcastle and Everton. Wow, let's shift to the relegation. We've seen Everton trying to survive by all means. And you've seen... Um, they were, we were expecting them to win at the end of the game, but unfortunately, Brentford were like, no, 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 <laughs> you're going down. You're going, yeah, it's an interesting mm. relegation, but I think Everton being relegated mm. would be the biggest team to be relegated. I think for me, mm. after Leeds were, were relegated, it's a big club, uh, they've got uh, expensive players. Those players don't deserve to go down in the championship. But as a Liverpool fan, I want them relegated. This man is going to, it's not going to be relegated. Because anyway. of the Messi side, uh, uh, yeah, I want them gone. <laughs> <laughs> but don't you think Liverpool, uh, Everton they have uh, contributed much into the effect of a uh, Premier League? Them being relegated, don't you think it will affect the league in some way? Yeah, it will be a bad thing for league, but I think they're safe. Because mm -hmm. at, at the moment, uh, they're above Leeds and, uh, yeah, and Burnley. There are two points two above points. Burnley, a point above Leeds. Mm -hmm. And the goodness about the uh, the relegation battle is different from the title race. Yeah. Their teams don't win much. So even if you're up by a point or two points, that's an advantage. I think if they just draw or win their remaining game, I think they'll be okay. Because teams at the bottom five, they don't win consistently. And, and, and Burnley have got a... Then they've got Newcastle and Aston Villa. Those are not easy games. All right. And now shifting, uh, uh, shifting our attention to Pats on Daga. What is happening to Pats on Daga? Do you think Vardy, we've seen the performance <laughs> in the past two games, he has been on target. Yeah, yeah. And then he was and out now, for some time. Pats on Daga's game to... time is keep on reducing. Just, just yesterday we saw how... Uh, he came on in the eight something minute. Is it eighty three somewhere? That, uh, if I, I uh, if I can remember correctly. Yeah, yeah. The problem with the Premier League is that it's a it's a fast league. Mm -hmm. You don't have there's not much time for to you say to adapt. To, yeah, to adapt and because uh, mm -hmm. managers are under pressure, teams are under pressure, especially when you're playing for a Leicester team that's trying to be ambitious and push into 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 Europe. We saw when Vardy was absent, mm -hmm. Patson didn't do himself much justice. Mm -hmm. So when Vardy came back and, and he come back as usual, he's now scoring. Mm. The scoring goes, he's got a, a, a brace yesterday, which is uh, good for him. So it, it's tough time for Patson, but he has, a prof he has to be a professional, continue working hard, continue doing so what he does I, I, best. Are you, assuming, I, I, are you assuming that uh, next season we're going to see his, his ch the change of performance? Uh, Nick, are you assuming that Patson Daka's performance will change in the next season? I think he would have matured two years in England. Yeah. I think he knows the league now. Mm -hmm. So I think it will be a better, better season for him. But I'm just afraid yeah, Vardy's not also going anywhere. Yeah, and I hadn't known that uh, Vardy's age is catching him up. Yeah, seems so. But I, I, just, I watched him play against Watford. The guy doesn't look a year old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he looks fit as usual. Yeah. Uh, refreshed from his injury. He's not going anywhere. And... She, and Maybe two, three years from now, but you have to fight. That's the Premier League. That's the challenge of the Premier League. Quality is quality in the Premier League. So, person has to fight for his place and has to start scoring. Yeah. Because if you're a striker in the Premier League, you're judged on how you score. There, there, there have been an argument, especially in the net zone of Zambia, and, uh, Zambia and especially. They are saying, no, the majority of his players, they don't usually pass him the ball, especially the midfielders. Are you in the same arguments? No, I think that's... 
that's just uh, Zambians trying to look for, mm -hmm. for an excuse. Uh, that's, that's how Leicester play. Their yeah, number nine is mainly just a focal point. Mm -hmm. is, is the guy they give that final pass. They don't normally build up their play with their number nine. They don't play like the Man City way. Mm -hmm. Or maybe the Liverpool way, where their number nine drops uh, open, building up the play. Mainly with Leicester, it's about pace. It's about fast, fast football. They don't yeah. use their number nine that much. So that has been less. They just have to adapt to that way. And I don't think Patson is a is a ball player. Yeah. I think he's a runner and a goal scorer. So in that case, do, do you think maybe he, he, there need to be that coordination between him and the the, the the midfielders because they need to find. I'm sure uh, due to training they know that okay, Patson Daka moves like this. Inacho moved like this. Vardy moved Vardy like moved. this. Yeah, yeah. So us as midfielders, since we are providers, we need to give pass on Dhaka in these areas and these areas. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true, William. Because normally when you're coaching a team, mm -hmm. uh, one thing you say to your midfielder is that if you can't find mm -hmm. your striker, I can't play you. That's your number one job is to find is to find a striker. So if if uh, if 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 Leicester midfielders can find Yanacho. If they can find Vardy, Vardy. and they're not finding Patson, maybe it's and that's more where, to and do that's with Patson. And, and not, that's where the argument not, is. Not, because not the look at the, the game that played yesterday. Uh, Vardy wasn't making much of the moves, but still the midfielder and the wingers were managing to find him. Yeah, yeah. But when it's come to Patson Daka, it's a different story. It's rarely you find that Patson Daka is dropping much, yeah. which is losing much energy to go and score. Yeah, I think it's got a, it's got a lot to learn, mm -hmm. especially from Vardy. Their movement are totally different. If you watch mm -hmm. how they move on and off the ball, the way they keep the ball is totally different. One thing they have in common is pace, and and and, and we're lucky that you can't learn pace. If you're fast, you're fast. If you're slow, you're slow. Mm -hmm. You can learn movement. You can learn how you control the ball. So he's lacking in things you can you can adapt and learn, and that's a good thing for him. And eventually you. you you, you, you learn. The Premier, the, uh, the Leicester is a big team. Yeah. You didn't expect him to just move, go there and, and make it happen. I think you adapt over time. All right, all right. Uh, we, we were just giving you the round of fixtures, especially the game that played yesterday and uh, a bit of the game that played during the week is on Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday as well. But before we go on, please... Uh, Keep watching Football Corner where we give you the best of fixtures, highlight and prediction. Stay tuned. No, I mean, my job is to find out exactly what your thoughts yes, are. But, and that... but you must also be. But it's that post before the we are at this hour where the pressure is being felt where you can't get a no, i don't see it as criticism mm. i see it as advice mm. yes if you see the way our statements are couched we advise him on the home very well because sometimes it's important to admit that uh, mm. we are the challenges here and there mm. not because we wanted to do so but here. You go to procurement, there are all those issues of procurement. Anyway, you want to clean that department? We are not going to allow cadres one way shocking, one way mm -hmm. shocking, shocking into a level where the economy is sustainable for almost the average Zambia. That is very important because if we miss that, Welcome back to Football Corner, where we, will, where we give you the best of fixtures, results, highlights, and anything concerning football. But we were talking about the, uh, yesterday's games, as well as the games that were played on Saturday, Tuesday, Wednesday, just throughout the week. And I've uh, been joined by Kachasa, who's giving us some in-depth analysis to these games that which were playing, which were played uh, this weekend and uh, as well as in the, during the week. We were talking about Leicester City yeah. <laughs> and the, the, the performance of Paso and Daka. Yeah. Uh, now, shifting away from that, let's. Uh, th th these are the games that will be played during the week. 
uh, on Thursday we're having uh, uh, Leicester City back against Chelsea. Do you think Person Daka's chance were going to have a chance to be Chelsea? Uh, I think they have a chance. Mm -hmm. Are they going to be Chelsea? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. But uh, they've got an advantage. Chelsea played a very, very tough game. Played 120 minutes against uh, Liverpool. So Leicester have got a chance, but I think Chelsea will, will just be too good for them. And, uh, and, and, and I think if you're, if, if you're Brandon Rogers, you unfortunately for us Zambians, mm -hmm. you start Vardy over <laughs> Pats on Dagger. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I'm looking at Vard's performance of the game that played, uh, they played against Watford, where they hammered Watford 5-1. Uh, to me, I don't think Person Daka have a chance to start against Chelsea. Yeah, yeah, you know, this is, this is football at the highest level. This is not <laughs> in the garden where you play someone because you like them or you feel, <laughs> you feel maybe sorry for them or what. You play, people mm. are performing. And at the moment, Vadi did put up a good show on Sunday. So I think he will start against Chelsea. Plus, they are playing Chelsea, yeah. one of the biggest clubs in England. They need experience. And, all right, if you are watching Football Corner, please, you are allowed to send us your prediction of the game that you, each the team that you think will win the, the game. Uh, you can just predict if it's Liverpool who will win the game, you can say 3-2, whichever way you want to predict it. Or if, it, if you are a Chelsea fan, you can also do the same thing. But all we want is your prediction and we'll be leading them in, a, in our comment section on, Monday, on Saturday, Lada, where we will come back on another edition of Football Corner. Now shifting back to La Liga. You know, La Liga, it's, a, it's another league where <laughs> it's kind of tough. Yeah, yeah. I think La Liga is, is done. Mm. La Liga is set to, I think Madrid are now champions. Barca have confirmed the second place, mm -hmm. which is good for them. But there's a fight between Atletico Madrid and again uh, against Sevilla. Yeah, yeah, there's Sevilla, Atletico Madrid, and, and mm -hmm. Real Betis for the top four. Mm -hmm. But I think uh, Atletico would do it, and I think uh, they're Sevilla, already third after after getting a draw against Sevilla. Yeah, yeah, I think they'll they'll mm -hmm. be fine. Sevilla mm -hmm. needs to win their last game. Yeah, yeah. If they lose, then Betis win. Uh, it'll be it'll be a, a different. <laughs> thing for them, <laughs> yeah. but I think they'll be fine. I think they'll win or probably even draw their last game to to increase the the top four race. All right, these these are the game that uh, we had during the week on Tuesday. We had Barcelona winning against Celta Vigo, as well as Valencia winning against uh, Real Betis. Uh, uh, I, I mean, Real Betis won three nil against Valencia. And on Wednesday, we had Atletico Madrid playing against Elche, and they also won two nil. Sevilla. It's unfortunate they drew against uh, Maloka on Wednesday, and again. They drew against Atletico Madrid. Do you think they have the chance to be in top four and play a Champions League next season? Severe. Mm. Yeah, I think I think they will, they, will, they, will, they will be in the Champions League next season. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just that. You know, but there is no chance. There is no chance of fighting back. Uh, Real Betis is fighting to yeah, be. Yeah, yeah. The... Real Betis is fighting. <laughs> And uh, but but I found severe chances. <laughs> <laughs> you sound <laughs> like you support Sevilla. <laughs> Your comment is, is biased. Okay. Anyway, yeah, yeah. Uh, and the games that uh, the result that we have for this weekend for uh, for La Liga, uh, Real Madrid uh, drew against Cadiz, Real Betis uh, won two one against Granada, Atletico Madrid drew against Sevilla, and uh, Villa. Real lost against uh, Real Sociedad 2-1. And we are expecting this fixture for next week where Barcelona will play against uh, Villarreal and Real Madrid will play against Real Betis. You've seen where the uh, top four <laughs> chance. Yeah, for... and Sevilla is playing a threat to Bilbao. Uh, uh, yeah, but, but if you're playing Real Madrid at the moment, still in the league, mm -hmm. it's a nice time to play Real Madrid. You know, because they are relaxed for they Champions relaxing, League. They are focusing on the Champions League. Uh, they, are, they, are, they are only playing for momentum <laughs> sake. Yeah, uh, momentum sake. I saw the uh, I saw their lineup. There there were a lot of changes. Lot of, uh, lots of changes because you don't want injuries mm -hmm. when, you're, when you've already won the league. And 
Azad came back. <laughs> we, were, we were expecting that. Maybe he'll be the hero. You remember last time, uh, Bell? He, he was out for injury, at least for yeah, a longer yeah. period. But against Liverpool, he just showed up and showed scored. Showed up and scored a wonder goal. Do you think it would be the same thing to Hazard? No, nah, I don't even think he'd get a chance <laughs> of playing into the game. All I right. think that George has already made his mind on who will play mm -hmm. in the Champions League. So what's your prediction? Uh, what's your prediction according to the table? How, how is it going to be in the last game of La Liga, starting from the top up to fifth? I, I think uh, Majid solely confirmed Champions mm -hmm. Barca second. Mm. I think uh, Atletico Madrid will be, will be third and I think Sevilla will be fourth. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately for Real Betis. <laughs> I, I, oh. I, I, don't think, I don't think Sevilla will slip up. Mm -hmm. Plus they're playing at home against Atletico Bilbao. I think they'll be fine. All right. All right. If you are still watching Football Corner, you can send your prediction into, our com into the comments on our Facebook page or, or our social media platform, and we'll get to uh, read those comments on Saturday 11 hours, where, where we'll have another Football Corner edition. But now shifting back, to, shifting away from, uh, uh, moving away from La Liga, we're going back to City Ha, where <laughs> there is a fight against the Milan brothers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, you know, it's uh, it's an interesting fight among mm. us, the brothers. Yeah, but uh, AC Milan wants to win their first league title. Yeah, in at least years. for Inter Milan, they won. Yeah, they won it last season. Yeah, yeah, AC Milan haven't won uh, the league in 11 years, and that's surprising because AC Milan mm. is a it's an Italian also. Uh, mm. So, what's your prediction? Because uh, these are the game that uh, uh, these are the game that uh, played. Uh, uh, these are the game that we had in Serie A. Uh, AC Milan battled against Atalanta, and uh, Cagliari played against Inter Milan, and Napoli uh, played. They said, you know, and we saw the how uh, these guys fought. And unfortunately, we were not. <laughs> were you expecting Atalanta to lose against AC Milan? Yeah. Uh, Pretty much, not not. Is it not, due to uh, AC Milan fighting for the, for the title? title? Yeah, yeah. When you are fighting for the title, surely, this this plus if they win this title, they will be heroes mm -hmm. in the city. Eleven years is a long time not to win a league title, and and and, and you know, it's that momentum, the spirit, mm -hmm. uh, the stadium was awesome. Yeah, yeah. The game was also awesome to to, to watch. All right, these are the next Sunday fixture for CDR where we have Torino versus AC Milan and Fiorentina versus Juventus and Sassuolo versus AC Milan. Inter Milan will play against uh, Sampdoria. You can also give your prediction uh, about these games that will be played next Sunday. I think this is the last game for these games, right? Yeah, the last game. Yeah. The, the most interesting thing about uh, Syria is that Inter only 81 points. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, AC Milan only 83. Inter, Inter playing at home against some, some podium who was 16th mm -hmm. on the table. So you expect them to have an easy win. Yeah. The most interesting thing is AC Milan travels yeah. to Sassuolo, who yeah. are 11th on the... On the on the league table, so it's an interesting. But, but, but with, the, with with the power they have, the, the, uh, how angry are they have for the title? I, I don't. Th for me, I don't think they will let Sassuolo uh, walk over them. Yeah. You expect AC Milan to win, but this is an experienced squad when it comes to winning winning trophies, and they, they'll be playing away away from their fans. You saw how their fans helped them beat. Uh, mm -hmm. At Atalanta, but they'll be away uh, at Sassuolo, and Sassuolo just like to to have a, a say in the <laughs> in the title. Race, I think. It'll All be right. An Due to time, let's conclude to the under 16s performance. Here, we just quickly. Uh, I will just ask you, being a Rito <laughs> Stars football academy, who's more passionate about the academy, do you think we should invest much in the academy? Yeah, I think we, we should, because. Uh, I've always said this wherever I've been, mm -hmm. uh, Williams. Football in Zambia, we are we are skillful players, mm -hmm. okay. And so we need we need people to to grow up with the ball on their feet, uh, more, so that we can we can be able to produce that uh, when they, when they grow up eventually at the highest level of football. Mm -hmm. Most of Zambian players are ball players, our best players, the best players we've ever produced. You talk of the Kalawas, the Karusha Waders, they are both players. Mm -hmm. So we need to start identifying so, them when they're young. Uh, looking at the result they have, Zambia played against Georgia and fought it, they lost on penalties. And again, they played against Azerbaijan. They won 3-1. And again, they played against a club team, which is uh, Lokomotiv uh, uh, Belisi, and they won 1-0. 
I, do you think the guys they are showing that sign that at least if we, we have um, a good foundation at club food uh, club level ac ac academy at club level we invest much on that uh, do you think uh, zambian football will go high yeah because you need to have a strong grassroots at the end of it it's just funny that zambian football under 16 under 20 under 17 We've been doing fine, but the problem has been graduating mm -hmm. those players into the mm -hmm. national team. That's that's another gap we have to have to bridge as a country, because yeah. that's what the problem is. We've been winning in the unders, but all right, all right. Uh, t uh, you know, as they say, <laughs> when you're having a good, good moment, time, time, time will never be with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. We just want to congratulate uh, Brenda Kunda, who was elected as Kosafa Exco member, and she also served in the first executive committee from 2016 to 2021. And she has moved to the regional board where she has taken up the female Exco uh, position. Congratulations, and we need to see more female. Uh, female, I mean. In participating in such position at first level as well and club level as club well. Level, yeah, that's, that's, that's a good thing for our country. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing for, for, for women in Zambia. Yeah, it's something we should we should celebrate as a country. All right. Thank you very much for coming through, uh, Kachasa. Yeah, have a nice, nice time here. Yeah. yeah, thanks very much. All right. Uh, if if you are a AC Milan fan, if you are a Liverpool fan, if you are a Manchester City fan, Barcelona, Real Madrid, please give us your prediction and all other teams as well. Hey, for Manchester United, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, okay, all right. You can give us your prediction in the comments and we'll get to read them on Thursday or on, uh, on Saturday rather at 11 hours where we'll have another edition of Football Corner. And ladies and gentlemen, this was Football Corner. See you on Saturday.